worked. I hope it worked. Can you all hear me? Did I turn the thing off? I lost my TV. Darn it. All right, hold on one sec, everybody. I had some major technical issues today. I just need to get you up on screen and we'll be all good. We'll be all good. The good news is, I don't know if you can tell. Come on. Nothing is easy. We're gonna do a couple deep breaths before we start class. I hope that's okay with everybody. I'm gonna need it. We can all benefit from it. Okay. Things tend to pop out. <laughs> can you tell that we have a new camera? That's my question. That's part of the technical difficulties. This is me in 4K. What do you think? kind of crazy. I got to play with the lights and all the things. Um, and can you hear music? I think you can. Part of my issue was I couldn't hear music, so now I got an ear pot in. Wow, welcome to the jungle of DIY live streaming. <laughs> Woo, it's kind of interesting. Like, I don't know if you guys see a big difference, but I sure do. Very, very excited. 4K in living color. Um, so welcome, we're gonna do some Pilates. Yeah, baby. We're gonna do some breathing, we're gonna do some mobility, we're gonna pull our pants up. We're gonna get going. I've missed you this week. I've been a little under the weather. So we're just doing what we can, yeah. I feel like the lighting is a little cool. I want to warm it up a little, in general, on all fronts. <laughs> anyway, all right, thank you for bearing with me. You know, sometimes these things happen. Um, this time it was a little too ambitious and trying to get the camera up and the audio wasn't kicking in for me. So here we are, we're all good. Let's stand in front of our rebounder. We're gonna start with some mobility exercises. We'll go into the Pilates and then we'll work into the bounce and we'll be all good for the rest of the week. So take your feet about hip socket width di uh, distance apart and then take a deep breath in. Yeah, it's a little too, yeah, much better depth and then press down and it, it's a little too cool. So I, this camera has so many options. So I, I will be working on it. <laughs> Never you mind. It was one of those things where I like kind of got it out of the, uh, got out of the box and then went right away. Let's do two more deep breaths. Inhale, reaching up, stretching nice and tall. Exhale, pressing down. Good, one more time, big breath in. Leave your arms here and just pull your shoulder blades down away from your ears. So we're gonna reach up, lifting the shoulder blades to your ears and then pull them down away from your ears. And again, reaching up. Good, and pull down. And I really appreciate your comments kind of calming me down because you know sometimes I can panic. Everything's always set up perfectly and then like one thing can throw it off. <laughs> but the good news is soon we're gonna have two camera angles. Whoa, how are we gonna manage that? I don't know. One more time, lift your shoulders up. Good, and then lower them down all the way. Press them out to a T and just press your elbows and pinky fingers back, little pulses. Yes, excellent. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate that. <laughs> I work hard, you know? I work hard. Good, let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring the backs of your hands together. Just peek down at your chest, separate your shoulders, and then bend your elbows back, lift your chest. Reaching forward, a little peek forward, pull it back. Good, couple more times. Reaching forward, really nice, pull back. And last one, reaching forward. Now I'm all like, are you guys gonna see my gray hairs? I'm just kidding, <laughs> you already do, good. Lower your arms down, go ahead and have a seat here. So we're gonna scoot to the very edge of your bellicon, which I know, or your rebounder, which I know might be not be the most comfortable place, but stay with me here. I'm just gonna slide back a little bit. So the frame is right on this part of your hamstring. It's like right where your hamstring meets your glute. And what we're gonna do is just reach your left leg out and pull it back in. Slide it out, pull it back in. So we're just warming up our hips. You can press your hands down onto your rebounder. And then also you're just giving yourself a little bit of, you know, pressure right into that 
hamstring. Good. Why, thank you, Tracy. I appreciate you. Good. Yes. Yeah, it's come with a lot of failures, this technology. I don't want you to see the hurricane that is parts and pieces happening. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Good. Other side, other side. Let's go right leg. Good. And reach. And these are just really great exercises for us to warm up. So I think sometimes our best warm ups are going to be the ones that get us really hot and sweaty and get our blood circulation circulating, but also just like the ones that bring us in touch with our joint mobility, the ones that help us kind of feel where everything is. Wait, is it? I don't, I tried to make the closed captioning on. Is it is working? I don't know you all. <laughs> I keep trying to make things happen because I have some Spanish viewers, hola, that I am trying to accomplish and I'm not confident enough in my Spanish to start teaching in Spanish. Someday, all right, rest. So keep this left leg here. Take your right leg out to the side. So you don't have to be like uber flexible to do this. Maybe it comes a little bit forward, but I'm gonna show you this way. We're still kind of perched on the frame of your rebounder. You're just gonna roll inward. So this thigh bone turns inward like this and then roll back. So your knee points to the ceiling and then you roll your thigh bone so your knee points towards the floor. If you can get up onto the ball of your foot and you wanna go right all the way into that lunge, no worries, but for right now, just try to find that, that rotation backward and forward. Good. I'm completely disoriented. Not in my movement, just in all the things. So, <laughs> thank you. Good. Yeah, I try, I've tried to, you know, sometimes the settings are kind of like hidden, so I do my best to go back and make sure everybody can find everything. And thank you so much. One more time here. Thank you so much for commenting on your favorites. Good. Come all the way back up. Bend it in. Let's reach. Thank you, Mr. Peterson. Let's rotate. He says, technology is good, but the important thing is the wonderful workout you're giving us. Tech is just an enhancement. Yeah, it's the vehicle by which I get to work with people all around the world, which is amazing for me. I used to have to go all around the world. <laughs> and now you can just hang out with me in my little house. Well, studio house. Good. So getting those hips a little more mobile. So I've been reading a book called Body Moves, I think it is. I'll, I'll figure it out. Body Moves, I think is the title of it. It's a blue book. Now I'm second guessing myself, but such as Tuesday. Um, so anyway, last one. This book is all about longevity. Come on in. And a means of getting to a place of longevity through mob mobility exercises every single day. So it's not the way that you sit or you know the way you stand necessarily. It's how much you're moving in between. So I want to do one exercise that hopefully will help you bridge the gap. We're going to cross your favorite leg over the other one. And then I would like you to, this is a Pilates-esque move. We're gonna fold our hands like I Dream of Jeannie. You wanna shift forward, it's hard. Push down into your legs and come up, squeeze your inner thighs. And then bend your knees, shift back, sit on your rebounder. Now, if that doesn't work, you can stand up. Um, with your feet just hip width distance apart, okay? The idea eventually is to sit, stand up and sit down in this position to the ground and back up. So this is kind of a mid-range that we're practicing. Let's try with the non-favorite leg in front. Shift, push through your feet, come up, good, and then bend and reach back. You can also reach your arms forward for more balance. Sometimes that can help counterbalance, good. And then let's try just one more on the other side, pressing down to get up. So the rebounder raises the floor to you and helps your hips and knees and ankles just access a little more mobility if you're not used to getting up and down from the ground. Let's come around this way. Good morning, plants. And 
better not see any bugs on you. Let's reach forward through our arms. We're gonna round over the legs. Just take a spine stretch here. Think of a nice long line of energy from your tail through the crown of your head, reaching forward. And then from here, we're gonna start to peel down. Now I'm hugging my calves into the frame, rolling through. Let's take a big stretch back overhead, reaching nice and long, and then reach up to the sky again. Down to the frame, look forward, and then use your arms to press down into the rebounder to come up and find your stretch again and feel where that is. Good, and now one of the quotes in the book is from a movement expert called Greg Cook, and he says, if you can't breathe in the position you're in, then you don't yet own that position. And I really love that. Use your hands for help. Because let's say you're here and you're having a hard time taking a deep breath. Then this is a good indicator that you just need a little more experience with breathing in that shape, which can bring so much to you in terms of I mean, gosh, just space and awareness and even strength and support. Here's our last one here. So I just want you to have in your mind today, which positions do I really own in this movement? Let's do one more stretch overhead. And which am I renting? <laughs> which am I on a, on a layaway plan, right? Some of us are, for me too. All right, take your right hand on your low belly and then let's just rock our hips back. Press your lower back into the mat. Feel the length on the front of your hips and feel it's almost like you're tucking your tail between your legs here and then let's release. We're gonna do that again. This is just opening up our hips, pressing into the back and release. On my channel, we do tend to spend some time just gaining awareness about the body, what it's doing, how it's feeling, what we're working with. Let's do one more little tilt back and then we're going to walk our feet up onto the frame. So if you're here, then I'd like you to consider that your abdominal wall in the front is working to partner with the connection to your back. So with that said, let's take our arms up to the sky, make fists, deep breath in, and exhale, feel your abdominal wall sinking. Sometimes you have to contract to get it there, and sometimes you have to relax to get it there. But what you're trying to do is imagine that your body just became like, I don't know, lead weight, pushing down into the mat, maybe even putting a little stretch on the bungees and then release it as you inhale. I know that was a super long breath. Exhaling, send your weight down, find that drop into the mat, and then release, we'll do one more time. Exhale, it's your ribs, it's your hips, it's your pelvis. It may or may not be your low back, but it's heavy, it's your shoulders, good. Now from here, we're gonna hold this position. Body weight down, fists active. Take your right knee into your chest. Try not to show any weight shift. And then let's send the leg out to hover and pull it back in just past tabletop because we're really focusing on stillness on the mat. If we were in the water and the mat was like a blow up raft, no ripples, no waves would want it to be happening, okay? So just keep it nice and secret, surreptitious leg extensions. <laughs> Let's go three more. Good, pull in and two. We're here for 45 minutes today, which is kind of cool, so we're gonna get it all in. Hold it out nice and straight, and then lift it up, reach with your hands behind your leg. If you have to bend your knees to keep it there, that's okay. Just bring it wherever you can. Flex and point your foot, so we'll pull the toes back to your shins, and point to the sky, pull back. Hey everybody, guess what? I ran a full block with flashlight last week without pain. It was a major milestone. 
I took care of myself after. I'm curious. I'm excited to try it again, but I'm not going to push it. That's where we are. So I'm pretty, pretty happy about it. All right, let's pull that foot back. Now, this muscle on the front of your thigh is your quadricep or group of muscles. I want you to tighten it. And as you tighten it, can you bring your leg a little closer to you and keep that front muscle as tight as possible and hold it? And then relax and ease out of it a little bit. And then again, tighten that muscle, pull it towards you, hold, and relax. One more time, tighten that muscle, pull it towards you and hold and relax and bend your knee all the way down. All right, fists back up, take a deep breath in, drop your weight into the bungees, and then again, try not to move anything as you float that left leg up to tabletop. We're staying heavy as we extend and we bend. So yes, you're moving the leg, but the work is really on how much you can press the mat down through your back body. That's hips, that's ribs, that's shoulders, that maybe even the back of your head if you're using that. Good, all right. Pull it in. Good, last two. And last one, reach it out and then lift it up. Hold on to it. Let's flex a little bit more and point and flex. Still the calves for me. And good. Oh, last two. <laughs> Moan and groan if you need to, everybody. It's been a long week so far. All right, so we're gonna hold it there tighten up the front of your leg as much as you can and then think of squeezing this muscle to pull your leg into you hold it there on a big stretch and release tighten it up again sometimes it's hard to find it all so i'm really working on these muscles now we're going to be focusing a lot more again tighten and pull it in on like the things that keep us healthy for longer I've been really diving in, last one, to uh, knee and hip health, like we do normally, but I've got some good stuff coming. It's gonna be hard, but I've been prepping and testing, and it's actually, it's sticky, so it's real good. All right, let's bend that knee down. Take your heels on the frame, and what I like to do is just kind of nestle my heels in between the bungees, and then you can use your hands on the frame if you like. We're gonna roll up into an articulated bridge. So press through your waist to lift your tail off the mat. Lift through your waist and get heavy through your rib cage. And as you get up to the top, because you've got the give of the bungees, make sure your shoulders don't collapse forward. So really press your chest open, lift your hips up, and take your eye focus up a little higher. Good. Then start to roll down. You feel your rib cage go down. Get heavy on the mat. Really activate those bungees as you roll down through your spine. It's like in an ideal world, a make-believe world, you'd be strong enough to push the mat to the floor with the weight of your body. I know, it's a stretch, but use the, uh, use the idea. The best thing about this new camera is that I haven't tried it yet, but you can like hook it directly up for live streaming, so that'll be cool. But what will also be cool is that there's like a little on-air button <laughs> that makes me feel very legit. All right, let's go again a couple more times, just rolling through that spine. It's the little things, you all. I was working with this new contract that I want to tell you so badly about, but I can't yet. And uh, we were in a meeting and I was going through a lot of tech stuff and talking about what we needed to do and the services we needed to use, et cetera. And they said, thank you for knowing what you're talking about. <laughs> and I was like, well, little known fact, I was audiovisual student of the year two years in a row in 1996 and 97. <laughs> Let's go all the way down. All right, so take your arms up and back if you can reach them overhead without any pain or discomfort, let them be there. If you need 
goal posts for a little less tension in your shoulder. You can take a bent elbow. Just let your knees go over to the side and take two deep breaths, opening up this side. So if your knees went to the left, you're breathing into the right side. And one more. and then fold in your center. Why did I say fold? It's like I wanna feel that weight dropping down. And fold made sense to my body. Let's go the other way. You can choose a different word if that's what you need. Good, and then we'll go ahead and send the waist back down coming back into center. All right, walk your feet together, please. We're gonna take our arms to the sky. Curl forward, look at those legs, and then use your arms to pull yourself up a little higher than you might do normally without the strength of your arms. Hold it, release it. We're here for three, two, and one, and lower all the way down. Let's do it a couple more times. Big breath in. Curl forward. Lift. Find it, find it, find it, release it, and lower all the way down. All right, here's our last one. Remember, you can leave your feet where they are throughout our 100. We're curling up. We're lifting ourselves a little higher. If you need to use a hand behind your head, that's A-OK. -okay. Arms come down by the sides. We're pumping. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe out, breathe out. <sighs> my my in-breath is not happening so easily from my nose, so you do your best. Good. All right, if you wanna add a little increase to the bounce, we're gonna lift those legs to tabletop. And now it's a fun Pilates exercise. Yeah, good. If you want a little more fun, extend your legs up to the sky. Nice active legs, good. If you wanna upgrade the fun, lower those legs on the diagonal just a little bit. And last time, lower them down on that low diagonal. We'll be here for four, three, two, can you jump higher? One, <laughs> bend your knees all the way in. Woo! All right, I have questions. Good, let's reach our legs all the way down to the ground. We're gonna do four roll-ups. This time a little more active. Reach your arms back. Let's circle around the frame of your rebounder. Stand into your feet. Roll up. Use your hands on the frame if you need to. Spine stretch forward. And then bring it all the way down. So the pace is a little swifter, but you do what you need to make it work for you. Every time you go down to the mat, it's about your body getting heavier, right? Good. Let's do two more like this. Circling around, and then we have the last one. Rolling all the way down to stay. Arms come down by your side. Let's bring your right knee into your chest. Hold on to it. We're on that raft again. Left knee comes to tabletop and then extend. We're gonna send the leg down, out, and around to the sky. Down, out, and around. Minimal movement through the rest of your body like a semi-circle. Straight down, out as wide as you can without falling over or creating ripples in that water. One more time in this direction. Always checking in with the back of my neck too. Let's reverse, just to make sure it's long and I'm not kind of like holding a ton of tension in my neck, but instead focusing on the weight down into the mat. Let's go two more on this side. We're using all those good hip and quad muscles. Bend your knee, switch. What did we do? We started up, we go straight down, out to the side and around, good. Ooh, new leaf. I love when that happens. <laughs> oh my gosh, I came in this weekend and I've got my orchids just burst. They're over in my office, but it was like such a beautiful surprise. One more time, reach it down and around, reverse. Out, whoops, and up. Good. That's it. All the way around to lift. Let's go one more here, everybody. Then we're gonna 
bring both knees into the chest. Rock yourself up to a seated position. We're coming to the edge of the mat. If you are on like a 39 or a 44, I think it is, just be aware that the metal frame is back there. We don't wanna to touch our head back as we're rolling. We're going into rolling like a ball. So we're gonna bring one knee up, then the other knee up, and bring yourself into a tiny little ball shape. If you've never done this exercise before, watch once. We just roll to the shoulders. We come back up, we try to find our balance. That's the goal. No heads touching because you're looking down the whole time. Ready? Let's go for eight. Squeeze those heels tight and we go eight and up. Seven, this is my favorite place to do rolling like a ball. Six, give a little squeeze to your cheeks, not the ones on your face as you get to the top. A little squeeze of your glutes is gonna help you get a little elevation. I think this is three two, last one, come on up. We're gonna bring your right knee into your chest, down onto the mat, into your contraction. So you're in an abdominal curl, bring that right knee into your eyeball, and then send your left leg out long. Feel the difference between an open hip and a closed hip all the way. And then let's switch and switch. Each time you make a position, really feel the fold, and really feel the reach. Good. We go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring both knees in, hands to your ankles. Let's lower your head all the way down. Feel those shoulders away from your ears. We go into double leg stretch. We're gonna do this one a little like a rainbow, okay? So we're start reaching both arms and legs up to the sky. We're gonna circle the arms and come around. Then we'll reach a little farther, circle around. Then we'll reach a little lower, and then we'll get down to the lowest position you have. So divide the top to the bottom however you need to. You can do it with your head down, or you can bring your head up, okay? Here we come, curling up, find your position, heavy through the back body, Arms and legs go straight up. Circle the arms, catch. Now they go out a little bit farther and around. Out a little farther and around and then one more. And all the way in. Now go from the bottom to the top. Reach and a little higher, just a little higher and a little higher and then right up to the sky. Nice job, good. Let's grab the right leg, ankle, knee, above or below, and, or a hamstring, wherever you can get it, and then extend the left leg out. And really press that right leg so you can curl up a little higher. Now hold it and pull it in a little closer. We're gonna do a stretch, stretch, switch. Stretch, stretch, switch. Stretch, stretch. I like inhale, inhale, exhale. Four, three, two, and one. Good, bring your knees into your chest, lower your head down. Let's reach our hands either back by your ears, like by the frame, or down by your sides if your shoulders aren't excited about that position. We're gonna make a diamond with the heels together. The toes can be together or apart and knees are turned out, like or hips are turned out, so knees are open, I should say. And then holding onto the frame, keeping your back body heavy. Let's drop the legs as low as you can. Sink your body to come back up, all right? Only go as low as you can still feel heavy against the mat. That's where you're gonna find your best work, okay? Good, and again, exhale. Here we go. Nice job, everybody. Let's go for three, two, ooh, not easy, and one. All right, bend your knees. Let's rock ourselves all the way up to the top and then slide on back. And then, ooh, <laughs> and then open your legs, 
a little wider than hip width distance, we're gonna go into spine stretch. What's so funny, again, it all comes down to perspective. Colleen is saying the train is an essential part of the environment. And I freaked out over the train for like five years in a row. <laughs> reach your arms forward, reach up through the spine, and then round forward, just like we did be before. Keep your arms hovered, find that bigger stretch, and then roll up. So we call this a long sit. For some of us, it's gonna be too much sensory overload. So if you need to shorten the length of your long sit or scoot to the end and put your feet on the floor to do spine stretch, that's fine, let's do it again. So yeah, I used to spend hours, hours editing the train out. It was such a waste of time. <laughs> but, uh, but then people who listen to my podcast Pilates Unfiltered and working well. They said, we love the train. It reminds us to breathe. And I said, there we go. Now it has a purpose. Come all the way up and open your arms out to a T. We're gonna rotate towards your front foot towards me. And then it's a spine stretch forward, but you're reaching past your front leg. So this is saw. And then we roll up through the spine to sit tall and rotate to the other direction. And bend your spine to reach. Get that twist, get that stretch and come up. So one of the important pieces is that we feel like we're creating internal tension. So feel like your arms are being pulled in two directions and then take your stretch. And then we roll up. And then we rotate over and we take the stretch and then we roll up. Really good. And come back one more time each way. Feel that back arm being pulled and rotate. And last one, good, and all the way up. All right, watch it, we're right on time. We're gonna do a little side work and then a little bit of back bending in kneeling. So let's bend our knee. I like to take my elbow on the bungees or the comfort mat if you have one and hold onto the frame. And then we're gonna extend the top leg out like so. Now the most important piece for me is that we remember that the bottom rib is lifting to the top rib. So you're practicing the setup for kind of like a side plank. You're just giving your muscles a little bit of a, like, hey, is this a, a thing we might do later? Take your hand behind your head. We're gonna lift that top leg up to hip height. Kick two times forward. Press it way back to open that hip. Again, feel the difference between a folded hip at whatever level you can and push it way back. Kick, kick. Press it way back, open it up. Kick, kick, open up that chest. That was a cute, that was me talking to me, but also you. <laughs> Press, good. Kick, kick, Press it back. Kick, kick, we're almost there. Press, two more. Kick, kick, Press, I'm regretting a little exercise I did yesterday in class. <laughs> Press it back, all right, bring it down. We're gonna just touch your toe onto the side like so. Your goal is to keep the knee right here. You're gonna extend and touch. Extend and touch. How's that bottom rib doing? Are you still lifted? Is your back still active? Good. Four, three, working on that quad again, yeah? Two, and one, good. Now, reach it all the way out. Flex your foot. We're gonna kick it up, up, lower down. Up, lower down. Up, lower down. Couple more. Up, lower down two. This is so interesting to see this high def. <laughs> Good, I'm obsessed with myself. Come on up. Just kidding. You kind of have to be a little bit into watching yourself if you're gonna be this much on screen, you know? But it's a healthy dose. All right, the ball of your foot is on the frame. The other leg's tucked under. We're gonna do a big rainbow stretch, full body stretch. Push down into your feet, shift the weight into your shin. Let that knee open and just open your body. Hold it here. Good. If you push weight down into that leg, you're going to take weight off your shoulder. So let the lower body really push down to help lift you up. Let's go for it. Push down and stretch. Good, lower down and reach, really nice. Press down and stretch. Lower and reach. Can we do two more? 
big up. Stretch open the hip. Lower down. And good, last one. Big stretch. Reach. Good. Lower all the way down and release. Swivel to the other side. If you moved your bungees out of the way, just go ahead and replace them. Make sure you have enough room to kick forward and back. Let's get ourselves up on this side. And behind the head, lift your leg hip height. Get those ribs lifted. So many things to do. Here we go. Kick, kick. Press it way back. We're going slow on the way back because I really want you to find your end range. Stretch it back. Good. Kick, kick. Press. And kick, kick. Press. Good. Kick, kick. Press. Couple more. Kick, kick. Press. Good. Kick, kick. Press. Couple more, couple more. I know I keep saying that. Last one, last one. Kick, kick. And press. Bring it back. Touch your toe. Press your knee back so you're really holding on with your hip. We're going up and down. Up and down. Good. Up. That's it. Lift. This, this music means we're going to get up and bounce, okay? Two. One. Lower it down. Are you ready? Kick up. Lower down. Kick. Lower down. Kick. Lower down. Kick. Lower down. Two. And one. And good. Come all the way up for your stretch. Follow the foot on. Hands on. Lift up and stretch. Oh, I needed this one. And come all the way down. Good. Here we go. Big stretch up and over. Good. Lower all the way down. And again. Up and over. Lower all the way down. Let's go one more. Big stretch up and over. Good. From here, just make your way onto hands and knees. We're going to round the spine, take a stretch, and then arch the back. Big stretch, tail and chest to the sky. And again, round. And arch. Good. And just shift your hips side to side in the arch position. All right, tuck your tail under, tuck your toes under, and your tail. And let's get ready to come all the way up. If you need to come up another way, it's totally up to you. If you need to get a drink, go for it. So right away, as we're standing on the rebounder, I hope you can feel the organization of your body, your shoulders, over ribs, over hips, over knees, over ankles. Yeah, maybe your knees are a little bit more in front because they're bent a little bit, they're soft. So let's make our feet wide. Bend your elbows and let's pull back, back. Just find that health bounce with a rhythm. Notice the differences. Good. How do you feel about this position, yeah? It's a little different than the others. I'm still working out my hair, you all. I kind of like, just like it a little wild like this. <laughs> kind of, I just can't see anything. Pull, pull, pull. All right, let's start to lift our heels as we're doing this pullback. You might be ready to jump. Go for it if you are. We're just playing around a little bit, trying to find that rhythm. All right, if you're ready, you can take a little bounce. So just a little basic, simple basic. Again, uncurl those toes. Let your feet be wide. Good. If you feel good about this, you can start to lift your knees a little bit or a lot bit. Good. We'll go for eight, <laughs> seven, six, five, four. Really nice. We're going to go two out, two in. Out and in. Good. Now, often after a little Pilates on the rebounder, I feel much more put together. I hope you feel the same. Everything feels warm. Good. Whoops. <laughs> Maybe not my brain. 
So let's go four more. Three. Two. Good. One. We're gonna go into scissors, front to back. Front to back. <laughs> I did not think this hair as I get ready for Pilates. <sighs> Feels like everything's changing. We gotta just figure it out. <laughs> Good. Switch. Just running, 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 back and forth. You got it. That's it. Four, three, two. Let's take a bounce balance side to side. Rolling to the ball of your foot, pushing down. Good. That's it. It's a slower pace right now, so just enjoy the actual push down into your bungees. Remember, half the work of rebounding is pushing, not jumping. Pushing and landing, right? The bungees do the jump for you. We do the push down. Four, three, walk it into the center. Little tiptoe. Good work, everybody. Welcome people who are lurking. <laughs> Give me a low jog. Introduce yourselves if you like to. We have got a great community here. Happy to have people tuning in. We're somewhere around, oh my God, like 165 classes or something. It's a lot. Good. Can you bring that jog up a little higher? Good, stay with me. All right, let's pick up the pace. Let's find it. That's where we wanna be, yeah? Good. Push, push. Nice work, everybody. Open, open, close, close. Out, in, out. Good, I'm glad you're feeling good moving. Good, push, push. Open, open. Good, that's it. All right, basic bounce. Here we go, pull, pull. You got it. Nice work. Long arms, push. Good job, everybody. Four, three, two, double rebound, two out, two in. In, a little faster. Yes. Good, give me four more. Three, two, one, run, up. There you go. Great work, everybody. Right on time too, yeah? Open, open, close, close. Out, out. That's it. Good. Basic bounce. Nice work. We're here for four. We're gonna go into scissors, a little quicker this time. Switch, switch. Yeah, wow. I think this camera is in sport mode. I mean, I mean, <laughs> within reason. I can just see my bouncing more clearly. I hope you can too. You know what this always does though? Makes that form <laughs> really important. Good, jog it out, jog it out. Good. All right, can you take these jogs into a V? Open your hips. Bring those knees a little higher. Eight. Good. Four, three, two. Basic bounce. You got it. Breathe in, breathe out. Long arms, push it back. Nice. Good, stay with that beat. Down, down. You got it for eight, four, three. We're gonna go side to side, four counts right. One, two, three, left, right, left, right, left. Keep going, right, left. Let's find our new beat for two. One, two, one, two, one, two, there we go. All right, we're coming up on our finisher. Single side to side. Go. Swing those arms. Find it. Find that rhythm. Eight, 
seven, six, four, three, two, one. That was fat lines. Nice work, everybody. Woo! Get that hair out of my face. I got like one more inch to grow <laughs> before it stays behind my ear. Double bounce balance. Two on the right, two on the left. That's it, slow down your breathing. Just a little bouncing today. Mostly Pilates. We'll be back to bouncing soon. And if you haven't noticed, there are lots of glasses <laughs> with bouncing. Singles, here we go, side to side. Let your arms hang. Good. All right, let's take a deep breath in. Reach. Release. Again. Up. Exhale. Last one. Both feet down. Calm it down. Little health bounce. Check in with your alignment, with your organization. How's everything holding up? Good. Slow it all the way down. Get your bearings. All right. We are going to come back down onto our knees for a fun little stretch. So I'm going to use a squat to get there. You can do whatever you need to do to get there. I just never miss that opportunity to get into a deep squat and stretch out my back. It feels good to me, but what feels good to me doesn't feel good to everybody I know. All right. Once we're down here, come on to your knees and hands. We're going to bring that left leg forward. Now, we'll have our hands down on the frame, and we're going to slide the right knee back. And what's going to happen is we're going to bend and stretch that leg any amount. However, we're going to do it in a rainbow, just like we did the other leg. So from the front, we want to get into the stretch that's there for us. Support yourself through your center. And then start with your foot kind of over here, bending and then releasing. So it bends this way. And then you bend your foot here. And then you go kind of right through the center towards your butt. And then you go kind of out to the side. I don't have a whole lot of that internal rotation. And then you go out to the side a little bit more. And maybe you can kind of roll your knee in and go out to the side one more time and then go back the way you came. And so the purpose of this is really just to figure out what you need in terms of the stretch for your muscles around your knee, your quad, maybe your hip, maybe your shins and calves, but it just gives a lot of different options. So if you find one that is really like, oh, that's the one I need to work, then make it a point to spend a little more time on that one. For now, let's switch, yeah. It's not, you're, you're not gonna super see it, Colleen. So if my foot is here, like the normal way would be to do this, but we're going here, 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 here. The problem with, I'll do it sideways. I just don't think you can see what you're looking for. So you have to have that visual. All right, so here's my stretch. This is up the center for me. And I'm gonna start kind of pulling my heel towards my opposite glute and then lower down. And then a little closer to center and then lower and then center and then lower and then a little outside of center. So kind of from the side, it just looks like I'm bending and stretching, but I'm trying to get different angles here. Way outside to center. And then finally, as far as I can go to the outside. And then starting from the outside. Okay, good. Yeah, it's, I don't have much range of motion to be honest with you, but the intention is there and that's what brings the stretch. Thank you for asking, by the way. I'm happy to show it if, if at all possible. But what you feel, yeah, that's a wow stretch. What you start to feel is like the places where maybe your knee or your hip are blocked, right? And that's good food for thought. Okay, so coming back to the front of your mat, 
Before we stand in our final standing exercise, let's reflect back on what moves did you own today and what ones are you renting? <laughs> Which one do you owe a little money on? Time, energy, currency, being practiced. Which ones are the ones for you? I'll look forward to hearing that in the comments after, but for now, let's see how we stand. I hope that felt much easier. Come on down, try the other side. So much easier. All good with the new camera. We're gonna warm it up a little bit. Yeah, and actually, I may even warm it up right now. Patience, yeah, patience, patience. But the good news is, is like, you know, we've been on lots of different journeys. We're on this one to work on a few of those exercises that are definitely gonna be really important for longevity, not just exercising. Um, the book, I'll tell you which book it is, that I'm reading right now is, oh, sorry, it's not Body Moves, it's Built to Move. Thank you, it's by, I don't see the authors here, Kelly Starrett and Juliet Starrett. Yes, Kelly is a husband and Juliet is the wife. Built to Move, it's a blue book. I got it on Libby. If you don't have the Libby app, it's the library app where you can read books and audiobooks for free if you're willing to wait for them, so it's really great. I'm renting internal and external rotation for now. Yeah, I'm on an epic payment plan for those two, <laughs> Colleen. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like when, when your mom used to put things on layaway for like three Christmases later. <laughs> like, I'm gonna put this comforter on layaway, we'll just have it, you know, three years later, we'll just pay off $5 a month at Kmart or Bradley's. Did anyone have Bradley's? <laughs> So good. All right, you all. I'm going to end class. If you have any time, my, my tech people, if you wouldn't mind staying on for a second, and I just want to see if we can find a little tone that's maybe a tiny bit nicer here. Um, if not, I'll figure it out. But I will end it now. I'll see you on Thursday. Next week, I'm on spring break. I'm so sorry. I just need a vacation with my child. I will be gone for the week. There's plenty of classes. And then we are back in a pretty kind of full tilt, so stay tuned for more. But I'll see you on this Thursday, okay? Hold please, I'll be right back. darker, but a little more normal. Hmm. Thank you, Tracy. Let's see. All right, so we're a little too dark. Hold.
That's a little better. Yeah, that was too, this is still too, a little too dark, right? I know, the wide angle is amazing. You, you have no idea what it looks like from back there, too. What's this one like? Still a little dark, right? Oh, there's so many of them. And they're all like ready to burst, too. I had to separate this big guy because it was getting intrusive. All right, let me know if you think this one is too dark. I think it's a little dark for me. Hmm. Yeah, they look, yeah, it's a little dark. All right. They're not gray, they're white, so yeah. There's just a lot of options on this one that I have to be aware of, you know? All right, so. <laughs> Thanks for doing this with me, y'all. It's really helpful. Alright, that's lighter. That's whiter. I feel like we need one more little pop. Yeah, do you think we need to boost it up like a tiny bit? Yeah. The greens are looking healthy. Yeah, and they are. Like. <laughs> If I were a real jerk, I could just make my glance look really healthy. Um, yeah, it will take a tiny little tweak, right? Okay, a tiny little boost. Last one, and then we'll, we'll let it be what it is. So like, I wonder if that helps. Let's see, here I come. This is gonna be another thing that I'm gonna have to tweak. That's better, right? Yeah, this is a little better. I think I can always do with a little more light in general in here, but at least that's not as cool. Like I looked a little gray which I'm not too concerned about my appearance, but this is a little better. I'll play around with it a little more. All right, my friends, thank you so much for your help. I appreciate you somehow you're watching this before I edit it out. Thanks for hanging out and just being a little BTS with me. All right, I'll see you all on uh, Thursday. Have a great one, appreciate you. Thanks, Tracy, thanks, Colleen. Big love to you both, bye.